What's up guys, my name is Brian Lozano and today we're gonna to talk about some Instagram growth strategies for beginners. Let's check them out. So I've had a few people reach out to me and ask me how they should get started on Instagram. Obviously Instagram is one of the biggest social platforms out there. It's one of the most monetizable platforms there is in terms of any social media. You can monetize your posts, you can monetize your videos, you can monetize your stories. You can even monetize responding to DMs. So it's actually one of the best money-making platforms there are out there. So if you're looking to become a social influencer, if you're looking to start making money online, Instagram is definitely one of the profiles that you definitely have to know how to get started with. Today I'm gonna to discuss some simple tips some things to look out for, and some strategies to grow your Instagram profile. Let's check it out. So the first thing I would advise you do when you're starting out with Instagram is to create a profile that's focused on a niche. So find a subject matter, something that you can focus on so that people start recognizing you for that topic area, that subject matter that you're gonna be doing. So if you're a photographer, make sure that you stick to posts that are only photography based. If you're a travel blogger, make sure that your posts are all about you traveling around the world. If you're a fitness athlete, if you wanna focus on fitness, post content that's 100% related to fitness. You don't wanna see a mix of different topics all within one profile. What you wanna do is create brand recognition and you want people to recognize you for something. So find that niche and start posting about that. This leads me to an next point, which is you gotta find a way to post consistently. Consistency is key. You want people to recognize you and to see you on a consistent basis so that they engage on your posts. That doesn't mean posting every single day, a million times a day so you get in front of people's faces. That actually works against you. I would suggest you don't post any more than two posts per day at a maximum. And that's probably something I would suggest you do in the future. If anything, keep your posts much smaller. I would post probably at a maximum three times per week if you're just starting out. The goal when you're just starting out is mainly to build up the quality of your content, which leads me to my next topic, which is quality over quantity. You wanna make sure that your posts are the best quality that they can be. So you gotta work on your craft, work on your photography skills, work on your video editing skills so that each time that you post something up, it becomes a better piece of content people are going to be much more engaged, especially when you're just starting out. If you're just starting out, most of your followers are going to be people you already know. And most of them are going to engage on your posts if they know that you're actually putting in work for your posts. So I would suggest actually put in more time on your posts, post less often, and then get more engagement per post. See, the thing is, Instagram doesn't work chronological. It's not going to post your content the moment that you put it up and everyone's going to see that follows you. It actually works in an algorithm and it's what it's gonna do is take your post and test it with a percentage of your followers at first so within that first hour of engagement how many likes how many shares how many comments you're gonna get on that post that depends how much more they're gonna show to the rest of your followers so even though you may have hundreds of thousands of followers not every single one of those people are gonna see your post unless you have high engagement on your content so you want to make sure that each time you post something up, it's as good as it can be and it's going to get a lot of comments, a lot of likes and a lot of shares. Something else I would suggest if you haven't already done is turn your Instagram profile into a business profile. So the way you do that is by going to Facebook and creating a business page and then linking that business page to your Instagram profile. Once you do that, you're going to get much more information regarding your posts. It's going to give you insights and information regarding how many likes, how many shares, how many comments, how many followers you're getting on a consistent basis. Those stats are gonna be vital when you're posting content so you have an understanding of what worked and what didn't. So once you find your niche and you found what topic area you wanna focus on, start searching on Instagram for hashtags that are related to that topic. What's cool about Instagram is that you can follow those hashtags, so I would suggest follow at least 10. Follow those hashtags and start looking at the most popular posts. When you look at the actual hashtag search on Instagram, you can see that there are gonna be nine posts that are gonna show up as the most popular. I would suggest every single day you look at those most popular posts and try to engage with those posts. You wanna become a part of that community. You wanna be involved in that niche area. So commenting and liking and being involved with those posts that other people are posting on the most popular hashtags related to your subject area are gonna get you, one, a, a few more followers. People are gonna see you when you're posting. Two, you might end up building 
relationships with some of these people that are posting this content, which leads me to the next and the most important piece on growing your Instagram account. And by far the best way for you to get a lot of followers right away, which is collaborating. So if you can collaborate with other profiles, especially people that have more followers than you do, and also fit within your niche, that's gonna get you a lot of followers. So they can post a photo and have you tagged in it. They can post a video on Instagram stories and have you tagged on that. And that's gonna get you a lot of followers up front. So collaborating and meeting other influencers that are in your niche is a great thing. That's gonna get you a lot more followers. Another way to meet these people is actually attending events. So if you can find uh, events for social media influencers or finding events related to your niche. So if you're a photographer going to photography events, if you're a fitness athlete going to fitness expos, those are great ways to meet other influencers and start working on collaborations to grow your profile. A couple other things that you guys should avoid. One, don't edit your posts. If you post something, you gotta stick to that caption. If you don't like it at all, then delete it. You're better off deleting it and reposting because Instagram works as an algorithm. And like I mentioned earlier, if you edit your post, it's actually gonna disrupt that algorithm and it won't show to as many people as you possibly can. That's something that's referred to on the internet as shadow banning, which is Instagram's just not gonna show your profile to as many people as possible and you're just gonna sit in the shadows and not get any engagement, not get any likes, and definitely not get any followers. So lastly, once you have content already created and your profile starts getting some engagement, you can use advertising as a way to grow your profile. So you can create an ad for your profile, run it on Instagram ads, and show that to other people that might find your content interesting. Once you do that, you'll start growing your profile and you can measure those stats specifically using the Instagram ad platform. So there you go, guys. Those are the things you need to look out for. Those are the things that you should do when you're first starting out your Instagram accounts. If this is your first time watching any of my videos and if you're someone that's looking to grow your social influence and become a marketer online, please subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a brand new video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.